Teams at NASA's Kennedy Space Center are still working toward Artemis 1, the first uncrewed integrated flight test of the Orion spacecraft and SLS rocket around the moon. Three, two, one, release. But testing is already well underway for Artemis 2, the first scheduled crewed mission of the Orion spacecraft. We have done a series of test campaigns at this facility with a series of uh, different modules uh, for the crew module. Uh, the article we have here today is called our structural test article, and what makes it different is exactly identical to the actual flight structures that we've delivered to Kennedy and we're in the process of building up there. This afternoon, engineers dropped a 14,000 pound test version of the Orion spacecraft into the hydro impact basin at NASA's Langley Research Center to better understand what Orion and its crew may experience when landing in the ocean after their moon missions. We actually have over 500 sensors integrated into this test article. Uh, we really split those sensors into two categories. We have sensors which are intended to measure the forces that are acting on the test article during the impact event. And we're also measuring the motion of the test article as it moves through the water during the landing. Ultimately, the Artemis II flight will set the stage for NASA's next crewed lunar landing, establishing a sustainable presence on the moon with a goal of reaching Mars.